Hey everybody, today we're going to be doing a booth upgrade, how to unboxing, I don't know what you call it video, but we're going to be installing this bad boy into my booth. I'm very excited. I know it seems like what in the heck is that little thing and I'll tell you all about it. Let's check it out. Hey guys, so one of the things I love about my booth, besides that it's just dead quiet, is that it's pretty versatile. Um, I made it in a way so I could stand up, sit down, move around. My monitor has, is on like a swivel thing. But one thing I've been kind of unhappy with is my microphone stand. Um, I used to use a microphone stand to rode like the swing arm, and it was attached to my desk. But what I found was that anytime I tap the desk, like tap the desk or moved or anything that translated right into the microphone you could hear it going boom 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 so i had to get rid of that and i used in my control room this big giant boom arm that comes over and it's not attached to anything it's independent it works really well but in the booth i don't have room for that so i just used a regular old mic stand like this and it works mostly this microphone's kind of heavy and so it kind of pulled that arm down a lot. So I, you know, I rigged it up with some bungee cords and to kind of hold it, counterbalance it in place. And it's been working okay, but you know, it's a little unreliable. Sometimes the microphone slides down or whatever. It's a pain. So I was watching a video recently from one of my favorite voice actresses, Anne Ganguza, and she just had a new studio built. And I noticed she had her mounts her um, microphone arm mounted into the wall. And I thought, wow, what a great idea. I should do that. So I went and found a product that will allow me to do that. Let's take a look. So here is my old Rode boom arm and it functioned just fine. But this end, you either had to clamp to the desk or drill a hole in your desk. And so I kind of put it in the closet because the desk that I have in my booth isn't very big. But then I found this. Uh, can you guys see it? This will allow me to mount that piece right there into that and have it swivel from the wall of my booth. I'm so excited. Let's take a look. Okay, here it is. It's the WM1 wall mount by Heil. And I don't have a Heil boom arm. I have a road boom arm but I'm hoping that this hole here is the same size. Not very good at these unboxing videos. It's my first one ever. Okay. Ooh. Okay, it's uh, metal. Looks like it'll mount pretty easily. There's the little brass hole ring there. It's very smooth on top. Let's see if it fits with the boom arm. Ha <laughs> ha, it does. Oh, I'm even more excited now. So this old guy's fine for what it was, right? But it was never meant for this purpose. This is way too heavy of an end. And this was always a little precarious. A little tippy over and I've got some wall space right there between the panels so my goal get that mounted so that it works right about there concern here is that the screws that it come with came with about an inch long and after they go through the bracket they're probably about three quarters of an inch and I hope that's enough to kind of secure it into the wall here the wall I'll turn this this, way. this is all that high density press board 
So it's in there really well, but it's gonna be pulling directly off of this. So I'm hoping that'll stay in there really well. Fingers crossed. Right, well, as you can see, screws are a little different. So you gotta make sure that you have a, an adapter to go into your mount, which I just happen to have. Get an adapter just like this. You screwed in there, you see these two little notches? You want those two little notches to be on the outside, not the inside when you screw that in. So that if it gets in there nice and tight and you need to remove it for some reason, you can always get a screwdriver or a flathead and get it out of there. Otherwise it's jammed in there forever. But that goes in like this, a little bit farther until it's tight and it's in there. That's it, that's all there is to it. Okay, so now it's time to put the microphone on the stand. However, getting this onto here would either require me to leave the microphone in the shock mount and turn it on because I can't twist this part or take the microphone out. And I remember it's really difficult to put the microphone into this shock mount configuration. However, I value the microphone more than I do my irritation. So we're gonna take the mic out. We're gonna put the shock mount on, put the microphone back on the shock mount. And hopefully it'll work just fine. Fingers crossed. So I've taken my microphone out of my shock mount. I've got my adapter. Here's the edge. And it just kinda screws right into place. I say that, hopefully. Kind of like that. And then I have this big knob here. I can adjust the tension on where I want it to be so that it sits straight, just like I like it. Now, the difficult task of putting the microphone back in the shock mount. These little rubber bandy things that hold it on are very precarious. Let's see. Let's try to do the top first. Like this, maybe. Huh. I'm very nervous. All right, let's see. Uh, now I can lay this in. I really don't want to drop this microphone. I like this microphone. Okay, that's one side, it's only one side. I gotta get this other little rubber band on the bottom. <sighs> okay, I have an idea. What if... Make it like this. And all the little bits on the microphone part. And slowly attach it. Oh, this one fell off. Uh, happy my, I'm happy that I carpeted the bottom of my whisper room here. Oh, I think I got it. Doesn't seem to be quite right though. It's not centered. Hey, I think it went in. That was a lot easier than the first time I did it. And now I can just kind of rotate it to the angle I want. Boom. All right, let's put all the accessories on. Okay, I'm getting ready to put on my pop filter. This lovely, expensive, but well worth it, Stedman pop filter, which I like a lot. Problem is that is meant for a round pole, and these are square. Uh, just have to figure it out, I guess. Huh. Anything, maybe I could bend that metal later. 
that to a new place that me and Pops it works just great. Work. Alright, time for the cable. And so here it is, Ta -da! installed. It'll come out, it'll stay out where it's supposed to. It'll go back, stays where it's supposed to. I had to move, move a few things around, like I put my little stand with all my copy on it, on this side, but that's not a big deal. If I need to stand up, I can stand up, hands free. <laughs> no more wiggling around, this is great. So I hope this helps. Installing your boom arm with the little Heil mount. Good luck out there. Until next time.